Hi guys, it's Rob from Music Gateway here, and today we're looking at digital audio workstations. A digital audio workstation is a software program that is used when producing music. You can use it to record, edit, mix, and master audio into a finished song. Now, some people, they shorten it to DAW. Others, they shorten it to DAW. Either way, means the same thing. Today, I'm giving you a very brief overview of the best doors out there. But if you'd like more information, we're going to link our blog in the description, which goes into much more detail. First up, Logic Pro. Originally developed by C-Lab in the 90s, it's one of the most widely known industry standard doors on the market, and it's now developed by Apple. Logic creates high quality recordings and has some of the best free VST plugins, but it is worth noting it's exclusive to Apple Mac. Next up is Avid Pro Tools, and some people consider this the Marmite door. You either love it or you hate it. It can be used as a standalone software with both Windows and Mac, or it can be used alongside digital and analog converters. It's a simple to use, powerful mixer, which provides ultra low latency. However, you can't buy Pro Tools on its own. You need to purchase an Avid approved interface. Originally launched as a simple loop arrangement tool, Ableton Live quickly expanded to become a fully functioning door. It's primarily used for live performances and remixing songs, although it does have full capability of recording music too. One highlight is that its sonic flexibility is fantastic, but it does have some outdated features. Whilst most doors don't offer anything like this, Reaper has a generous two month trial period so that you can make sure it's the right software for you. It's got powerful multi-track functionality and it's great for fast track music production workflow, but some users have said it's prone to crashing. A good choice if you're an EDM or a hip hop producer could be Steinberg Cubase. Now it does lack a lot of the basic features that most doors have. However, it was clearly designed with a target market in mind as it initially started out as a MIDI controller only workstation. Originally known as Fruity Loops until 2003, FL Studio is extremely popular on the hip-hop and rap scene. This door uses a pattern-based sequencer and is considered a great option for beginners as it's really easy to use. However, it can suck high levels of CPU usage and has limited options if you're looking for advanced audio manipulation. Soundforge Audio Studio is aimed more at audio editing than audio production. It's a great choice for fast audio editing and mastering workflows and it achieves high quality mastered audio. Although, there is a lack of an active community and customer service, which can make it difficult to get support when you need it. Like Simps, Reason 11 might be the right door for you. It's got a huge array of open source devices and digital synthesizers. This software has ultimate all-round flexibility. However, it can be difficult to arrange the mixer and streamline your workflow. And finally, there's Bitwig Studio, a software that can be used on most platforms. It's mainly used as a tool for live performances, but it can also be used as a fully functional door. It's easy to use and get started, but some might say it's slightly overpriced for what it has to offer. As you can see, there are a lot of doors out there. They all have their pros and their cons, but when making your choice, it simply comes down to one thing. Which one is the best fit for you? I've already given you lots of information about digital audio workstations, but there's still so much more to know. We pop some links in the description, so check them out if you want to find out more. Also, feel free to leave us a comment with any opinions or questions that you might have. And don't forget to like and subscribe for our future videos. And as always, you can chat to a member of the team at musicgateway.com. We're always happy to help.